I think one of the big reasons why I got into streaming in the first place, uh, I actually didn't know what streaming was at all. Uh, and then when I moved to Canada, uh, I was a part of one of the biggest WoW guilds in the world called Dara McTyre at the time. And uh, there was a guy named Soda Poppin who came over and obviously already played with people like Swifty already and I was an officer there. And uh, I got asked if I was interested on streaming on Twitch uh, with actually for a guild called, uh, or for a game called Guild Wars 2. And uh, it was just, yeah, it was an opportunity to do it. I, I got hurt pretty bad work in security. And uh, an old Korean guy named Sam, uh, who actually uh, helped me out. He's pretty much like my Korean dad, is what we call him. But uh, he actually gave me $5,000 uh, if I got hurt really bad at work. And uh, he took me to a restaurant and said, I think you're too funny to work in the security stuff. I don't want you doing it anymore. It's too dangerous. And uh, yeah, this one lived in Canada and he, he gave me $5,000 and started my, my full-time journey. I've been doing this for nine years. The longest break I've ever had was two weeks. So I think that plays a part of it as well. But uh, I'm very lucky to have the community I have. Community is pretty much the biggest focus. I'm just a rat kid from Western Sydney. Like honestly, I, I, there's nothing, nothing special. My story's, you know, a bit unique, but at the end of the day, it's not. There's so many people that have, you know, parents in and out of prison and stuff like that growing up from Western Sydney, and I'm just another one of them. And I've been lucky enough because of my community, because of places like Twitch, to be where I'm at now. Some of the campaigns that we did overseas is we work with uh, autism centres and, and, and rehabilitation centres because they use gaming as such a big part of that. Uh, reaching out and working with Big Brother, Big, big Sister programs as well is super important to me and working with foster care. Uh, and one of the big ones that I'd love to continue to do over here is uh, we would go to schools and speak about sort of anti-bullying and stuff like that. And uh, I think it's a little bit more real. Uh, obviously, I look, I'm very well aware of how I look and I don't look like the average gamer. Uh, well, I do actually look like the average gamer, but statistically, a lot of people think, you know, that little weedy guy with glasses, nerdy guy. And um, I think it's easier for kids to relate. And obviously, it's something that I went through as well as a kid going through foster care and stuff. I think it makes it a little bit more relatable. Um, and it, it gives me the opportunity to be able to do cool things and, and Chiefs are very on board with that and that was ultimately the decision for me is they're really on board with me doing these opportunities and doing these cool things and I think that for me at the end of the day um, it's what I'm really looking for for an org is we know I'm going to be streaming I stream 55 hours a week and have for the last nine years right but getting cool opportunities to do this and give back to the community a little bit more is super important to me and, uh, and Chiefs were the ones that said that they're keen on doing that so I think it's, it's going to be great.